This is our last table read ever, which is fucking heavy, bro. It's heavy. Um, but honestly, it's been an honor for everyone with all you guys. Thank you for being patient through this. Um, and we'll talk about when the rest of you die soon. <laughs> all right, let's do this shit. I look back on that first table read and I just remember the excitement that we had, the potential, the promise, the gratefulness of being involved in such a monster franchise. There's a lot of memories from day one of Mayans all the way till now. And so I think this is kind of a cool way of wrapping it up. For the first two seasons, we did it every episode. And then COVID came and killed all that. But I think it was really important for this last one is just for all of us to be together. Don't know when we've done too much damage that there ain't enough good in this world to balance it. The most memorable moments throughout the five seasons have been the table reads. It's beautiful, and it's been probably the most appealing part of the whole experience. The one opportunity where you have that community feel, the feel of an acting company, is during a table read. I'd do it. I'd burn it all to be together like we were. It's always nice to see the whole cast and you know, the crew's there. I so rarely get to do scenes with any of the MC crew, so it's so lovely for me. Beginnings are beautiful, but endings are, you know, they hurt. In this episode, we lose a lot of people. And so we wanted to all be in the room one last time in our last season, it's gonna be incredible. It's just gonna be beautiful and sad. I'm sure we're all gonna cry and it's gonna be emotional. Does she leave? I don't know, son. I think every death is beauty in it, and we have to acknowledge that. For a storyline that tends to be so dark and murderous and, and gory at times, there's just a lot of love. You all wanted this war to end? This is how. Everybody got to commend Elgin also for what he's done for us. And it was nice for him to hear that out loud because he's good at giving praise, but he's definitely not good at taking it, right? Hey, trust me when I say, you're a hell of a leader, Elgin. You've done an extraordinary job. Just to say thank you to him. Elgin deserves all of our respect and our understanding because he's done some extraordinary things. And I just want to say thank you to you again. I, I, can't, I can't say it enough. You carried it with a strong sense of understanding. So I say to you, thank you, Elgin. Let's hear for him. I feel like the, our last table read, it felt sad and good. Like, good, things should come to an end. Like, this is the end of something momentous for all of us. And hopefully not the momentous thing, right? Because hopefully we're all going on to do things even crazy, put this in the rear view. This has always been incredibly special. So it just meant something for all of us to be in the room. Bishop raises his Glock. Bang! Mayan blood spurting across the clubhouse floor as he smashed a black. 